The defense forces of Ukraine will be able to hold capture ground in the Kursk region for a while, for many months, according to uh, Bloomberg. President Zelensky is ready for negotiations with Russia on Ukrainian terms to establish and to reach a long-lasting peace in Ukraine. Meanwhile, Kamara, Kamala Harris is ahead of Donald Trump by 4%, according to the recent polls. So, how Ukraine is able to hold this captured ground in the Kursk region and why does the United States think that Ukraine would be able to hold this ground for a while? Bloomberg reported about the current situation in the Kursk region. Ukrainian defense forces will be able to hold this captured terrain in the Kursk region for a while, for many months, if even not even longer, according to the recent statement by the US officials. Also, Bloomberg reported that Ukraine was not facing any kind of problems with the delivery of ammunition to the Kursk region because Russia fails to attack Ukrainian forces there and Russia fails to disrupt Ukraine's supply lines from Ukraine to the Kursk region. That's why Ukraine is able to continue its operations there and Ukraine is able to sustain its attack to uh, capture even more Russian forces and to continue its uh, ground offensive in the Kursk region because uh, Ukraine is able to deliver ammunition to its soldiers on the ground in the Kursk region. Also, there have been also other reports from the US officials. Russia has not started started any kind of major counter-attacks counter there because it's uh, no longer Russia's uh, main effort. Russia's main effort now is on the east of Ukraine. That's why uh, it's more important for Russian side to capture more Ukrainian ground rather than to liberate uh, all its own land in the Kursk region. That's why Ukrainian, for, uh, Ukrainian soldiers continue their offensive operation in the Kursk region and the United States government is confident that Ukraine will be able to hold this ground for a while, inflicting even more pain on Russian soldiers and on Russian dictator Vladimir Putin. Also, there was a new record of the Russia's losses in Ukraine. In September, Russia uh, lost more than 1,000 soldiers per day. The average daily record war was 1,271 soldiers per day. This figure shows how, how many soldiers Russia is losing every day. Russia loses every day in Ukraine more than 1,200 soldiers. And according to the British intelligence, it is possible because of the also Ukraine's course cooperation inside Russian territory. Also, there are other reports about President Zelensky plan to end the war in Ukraine. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is ready to end the war in Ukraine on Ukrainian terms by conducting negotiations with Russia in good faith, but only on the Ukrainian terms to agree. Bloomberg reported that President Zelensky showed more flexibility in finding new ways to end the war in Ukraine. There are some speculations that Ukraine could be invited to join NATO in exchange of the of a ceasefire with Russia. Also, President Zelensky ur urged President Biden to invite Ukraine to join NATO. Zelensky would like to use this invitation as a bargaining chip during the negotiations with Russia. Also, there are other ideas of the possible endgame scenario for the war in Ukraine. The United States could provide Ukraine with security guarantees, uh, with such security gar guarantees which were provided to the South Korea and Japan and uh, Ukraine can end the war in Ukraine only uh, with security guarantees. Uh, other options would be a non-starter for, for the Ukrainian government. Uh, also, Ukraine could be invited to join NATO, uh, but the security guarantees could uh, reach only the territory which is being controlled by Ukraine. This idea is being discussed by other uh, Western allies, but the central element of the, any kind of uh, negotiations between Ukraine and Russia could be only 
membership in NATO. Ukraine cannot negotiate with Russia without any kind of a serious, bold security guarantees for the West, because in case of a ceasefire, Russia could launch another attack on Ukraine in the nearest future. That's why Ukraine needs strong, bold security guarantees from the United States and uh, from President Biden. Meanwhile, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said that he would not negotiate a ceasefire with French President Emmanuel Macron. He said that this topic was not a, a part of his agenda during his meeting in the Paris. President Zelensky said that uh, our, our reports suggesting that he would like to have a ceasefire in Ukraine are not true. And he's right, because President Zelensky would not like to have a ceasefire, because it would only be a pause uh, for uh, current hostilities, but it not end the war in Ukraine. It would not end this war. That's why President Zelensky would like to end the war in Ukraine and to reach a lasting long and lasting peace in Ukraine. Also, Spanish publication, Spanish newspaper El Mundo reported that President Zelensky is rejecting other peace plans from other uh, countries because uh, only Ukraine's uh, victory plan could end the war in Ukraine with long and lasting peace and to help Ukraine to establish a, a good democracy and to have a prosperity here and to uh, reach and to increase our economy. That's why President Zelensky would like to move forward with uh, Ukraine's victory plan. Also earlier this plan uh, ha has been discussed uh, between President Zelensky and the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Keir Stormer. President of France Emmanuel Macron and head of the Italy uh, Georgia Maloney. Uh, this was uh, a part of uh, the high stakes discussions between all Western leaders. That's why President Zelensky would like to end the war in Ukraine according to the Ukrainian peace plans. And uh, at the end of our discussion, let's, our, let's cover also the US internal politics. Kamala Harris uh, is uh, ahead of Donald Trump. Kamala Harris leads Donald Trump by 4%. Uh, this is a result of the recent poll by The Economist and Hugo. Kamala Harris has uh, more support among the voters rather than Donald Trump by 4%. Also, uh, she has more support among the American voters, among the registered voters by 3%. And this poll shows that Kamala Harris can be Donald Trump and can become the next U.S. president, if he, if she would be able to win this U.S. general election, uh, at the same time, former U.S. President Donald Trump refused to participate in debates with Kamala Harris. He could do that because uh, Donald Trump has lost other debates, previous debates. That's why he's so afraid of another debates with Kamala Harris. That's all for today. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, stay with us on YouTube and uh, glory to Ukraine!